This is day 79 of the instant gratification and sugar fast that I'm doing for four months. And this is the time when I do a weekly overview since it's uh, Sabbath day for me. But it's been a hectic week. Uh, it's like it's mostly been mental. I've been falling like I've been falling back into my faith further and further. Or falling back on my faith, I guess would be the better way. And it's... I'll be honest, it has made me feel incredibly lonely. It's kind of made me realize in my situation and made me realize I'm actually tired of being isolated. Though I don't think that is what it is. Tomorrow, I'll be trying out a new church, which is a youth church. Hopefully... Hopefully I can make some friends there. Hopefully I can actually meet some new people who are more the crowd that I'm looking for. I've I've been consistent with everything else but like drawing and I'm still having trouble with that instant gratification thing. But after Monday I'm going to completely block YouTube. Yeah. After Monday, I'm going to completely block YouTube because I have everything I need. And uh, I have an art improvement discord plus tools on my phone to help me make sure that I got my measurements accurate, which is all I really need to do for drawing right now. And while it was pretty ambitious to say that I wanted to learn more skills, I honestly don't know if that's going to happen. I don't think that is going to happen. Right now, I just want to focus on drawing, get to the point where I can start constructing scenes at the very least, making whole characters from imagination. Now, I still want to use reference as inspiration, but I want to be able to like make my own characters from imagination. And... If there was any other skill that I need to learn, I'd say it's probably writing. Since I'm going to, like, since I'm going to make stories, you should probably learn how to write them. There's also a sketchbook club coming up. Which I've thought about going to. But it kind of depends on my job. Right now at the job I'm at, I don't know if it's possible. At least not this time. I can go next week. I can go next month. And, uh, yeah. I may just have to go next month. In terms of the CNA, I'll be able to start in June. Just got to be on the lookout for that application. My friend has already offered me a sewing position, so I'm probably going to take that up. And even though it's not a very flexible schedule, the schedule does make it to where I can do more during the day and the weekend than I can at my job right now. So I'm looking forward to that. I still don't know what to do with the cars. And it's driving me mad. I'm thinking maybe it would just be best to part both of them out. Scrap them. Because I honestly don't know what else to do. But this is really, really getting on my nerves. People say that they're going to do things. And they just don't do it. And... 
with all the things that's going on, this constant feel like feel of isolation. They can't seem to break out of. It's frustrating. I actually did almost lose my job because I. Uh, my boss, like, it seems like my boss targets me whenever she's whenever she's mad or, like, it's pretty obvious she doesn't like me, like, actively hates me. She's even said it, but I... Two days ago, I just like, yep, yeah, I had it. I couldn't, couldn't take it anymore. So, I didn't really say much, but I did yell at her and kind of get into business that wasn't mine because I wasn't sure she was making a snide comment like she always does. Honestly, it is my fault because I should have just not reacted like usual or better yet just not come into work that day because I originally did call off because I knew I was reaching that breaking point. Whether I lost that job or not, honestly, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go find out on Monday. I was able to talk to the boss, like the boss boss. And he told me to check in on Monday to see where I'm at. Even if I manage to get that job, I'm still going to be looking for somewhere else to go. At least until I can figure out this whole CNA. Friend at work swears up and down that he can get me in. At this point, I'm ashamed to say that I'm not really sure anymore. I want to do the CNA thing, and I do trust him. But I feel like my trust has been betrayed so much that I don't know if I should believe him. I'm still going to go for it. But I'm still going to be very, very, I'm going to be very, very cautious this time. If I do get that sewing position, honestly, that would be pretty good. It's only a dollar hit. I have a ride there. So I don't have to worry about transport. And it frees up my schedule. So I'll go from there. In less depressing news, I have decided to begin making the transition to digital from traditional. Because I've heard from people who do digital, it's best to just get started as soon as possible. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep my expectations low, keep my expectations real low, and just go from there. Take the time to learn. Take it slow. I've noticed that when it comes to things happening, I want them to happen too fast, and that is probably where I trip. That's probably where I fall the most. So I'm just going to look at this as a new humble beginnings and I will go from there. Just keep my options open. Keep my options open but still work towards the bigger picture. I think that's the best I can do right now. So with that being said, I'm going to let you go. I hope you all are taking care of yourselves. May God bless you in your endeavors.